Modern Malinois was finally featured on TV, all about our training, our breeding program. We've got the Mogdots doing food training, Poopup doing bite work, Central Oregon Daily did a story, and this is what it looks like. Welcome back everyone. He is a dog trainer based in Culver who breeds and trains elite protection dogs. And when you see his own dog, you'll know what I mean by elite. Well, now he's amassed an online following in the millions thanks to his TikTok videos. This morning, Eric Lindstrom introduces us to Matt Folsom. Take a look. I take a big handful of kibble and they work for all their food because wherever their head goes, their body will follow. The circle's turning into a heel, a down, a sit, a switch. Fold him back into a down, a sit, a down, a stand, all done by manipulating his head. His name is Matt Folsom. The only thing he is interested in is this ball. And breeding all and right. training Malinois protection dogs is his passion. So none of my dogs work for me Couché. to please me. They don't work for me because I'm dominant over them. They work for me because I have something that they want. Switch. I had my first dogs when I was younger. I got to just backyard bred German Shepherds, nothing special, and I knew even then that I absolutely loved dog training. And when you watch he and his dogs work, it's pretty clear this is a little different level than you or I training old Fido how to fetch your sit. And he's only staring at me, Kushe, because I have the ball. Now he's not. There's watch. <laughs> he's gonna contact Hill with me. He can heal, but stay locked onto the target. Now we're gonna have him look at me. Here. Lock onto the target. Help her. Power, but also us. The control. Matt's passion is clear. Anybody can make a mean dog. It's not hard. You beat him. But to make a dog that can bite like crazy, but is kid safe, people friendly, that's what takes work and talent. And over the last three years, it's become crystal clear that people enjoy watching him work. TikTok came around and I started hearing TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And so I, I've started posting there. My second video went viral. And within a month, I had 100,000 followers. And within four months, I had over a million followers. A down here, back to the heel. It's all done with luring. So I have 4.7 million on TikTok. Uh, we have around 2 billion views with over 100 million likes. I'll repeat that to let it sink in. 4.7 million followers on TikTok. That's more followers than the entire population of Oregon. And 2 billion plus video views to go with it. We also have two bark commands. One means bark at the target. One means bark at me so they never get confused if they're told to bark at a threat. So his social media has exploded and it's become part of his job. But before all the videos, the followers, and the views, Matt got into protection dog training specifically due to a friend's traumatic experience. I was in my early 20s and a friend of mine was brutally attacked in her own home and had terrible PTSD, you know, couldn't function in life anymore. And she had this $10,000 dog that she had brought over from Germany. Uh, and I just thought that was absurd. Um, but it was a protection dog, fully trained, came over and she uh, it was like it gave her her life back. She was able to go out and I just became enamored with what that was able to do for her. And it was through her that I got into working dogs. His friend's experience led him down the path of protection dog training. And now he uses a new school form of training that focuses on positive reinforcement versus the old school dominance technique. A lot of working dogs and protection dogs are trained with uh, inhumane methods, a lot of punishment, a lot of coercion and aversion. And I really want to try to bring into the mainstream using mostly positive reinforcement to train these dogs. I have so much of a better relationship with my dog. They're not, you know, you don't have a dog that's worried. Um, and I don't have a dog that, you know, only listens to me because or else. A boy. Mognot. As for the future, the videos, TikTok, and social media will continue, but they're just a means to promote, advertise, and fund his true passion, breeding and training. So now he's going to contact heel with me, meaning he is going to stay glued to my leg. 
I can keep my hands free. I can look wherever I need to, but he's focused on the threat. I can even have him turn away. Here. <laughs> now he's going to lock onto her. Fuck. And you see how he's pushing into her. He's not tugging on that bite because he's trying to get as much of her in his mouth as possible. At the blink of an eye, he's going to let go. Us. Just like that. I want to work and train the best dogs in the world. That's what I love to do. Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News. Now, ah!